All right, I'm back you guys. This is the second of two neutral themed journals that I wanted to show you. Um, this is the book I altered is Promises, Promises. And we've got my collage here on the front. I didn't alter the back, I just left it by itself. I've got this tassel, of course, that's got all sorts of fibers and ribbons and yarns. Um, new thing that I'm starting to do is in order to kind of cover up my little mechanics here, my metal part of the tassel, is I've been doing some braiding on the top of it. I'm kind of liking that. And I think I'll kind of continue that process in other journals. That's one of the cool things about journals is that, you know, as you go, you develop things that you kind of like or that you try. I've got a pocket here and a poem. Image of a bull rider. It's kind of very gentle, peaceful image of a chair. Some pockets and places for writing. I, of course, leave at least one page out of every book. Um, otherwise, I alter things. This is a coffee filter. I've got a playing card as a pocket. We've got a flight pattern or a flight map. Um, a couple scrapbook pages. This is one of the scrapbook pages. This is a book on patterns for oil painting. They're all botanical in nature. Pocket. I uh, found this box in my collection downstairs of vocabulary words. So I'm starting to include some of those. Um, a jewelry ad. Here we've got a heart. Lots of spaces for writing. Trivia is that this is some um, work of my husband's, <laughs> actually. Um, he was doodling on some little tiny notebook, like those pocket notebooks. And so I made some photocopies of that. And here we've got a little botanical image, another scrapbook piece of paper, an ad for, I'm not sure what the, <laughs> the medical or medicinal product was. Just like her little peace sign. These shoes, a little tuck spot, and this folds out to um, a butterfly coloring page. And we've got the language here up above for butterfly. I think this was from Japanese coloring book pages. A magazine ad. Lots of cool little papers. You know, over the years I collect these notepads and notebooks and things and then they're too beautiful and the paper is too nice and I don't want to write on them <laughs> and so I'm starting to kind of dismantle them um, same way with this you know you've got this deckled edge and a really nice quality paper um, I think that's nice to kind of hit different types and weights of paper in a journal same thing here I have tea dyed or coffee dyed something and it's tissue papery so that's kind of a focus often for me. Um, I do have this one little paper clip that's been altered. And how to draw a page. Magazine ad. A word find. How to draw. This page with yarns and twines has got some nice texture and this nail polish page. Tiny piece of scrapbook paper. Guitar chords. Um, this was nice. This is, I really like the front matter or front pages of books. I often will tear them out so I've got blank spots that have some age and some character. And then in this case, I left the kind of the extra kind of provides this little curl. Um, we've got a pocket, magazine ad for a dress, another pocket. Uh, this is some beautiful painted paper I had sort of hoarded and so I decided to use it and it's kind of creating a card for me. 
How to Draw Flowers. We have Alice in Wonderland page. Uh, paper bag that's providing a little tuck spot for a tag. We have this quote that says, if you would not be forgotten as soon as you're dead and rotten, um, either write things worth reading or do things worth writing by Benjamin Franklin. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, another scrapbook page. We've got this. I spent some time kind of taking all of the um, normal people will actually get tissue paper and a gift and they throw it away or recycle it. I tend to crumple it up and then reattach it to paper just for the texture. Uh, we've got this cool paper clip, which is a shoe that's been altered. Magazine ad for foundation. Children's book page. A pocket. A list pad from Dollar Tree. Uh, music writing page, a tag, a uh, hand from Dollar Tree, and then I ended with this little uh, paper bag. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. I will be back with more as I'm kind of cranking these out lately. Anyway, hope, uh, hopefully you are well, and I will see you soon. All right, bye-bye.